Hello, hello, everybody. As I promised, I'm here to do a stream during the weekend and, you know, before, like, 6 o'clock. <coughs> hello, hello, Karkankin. Alrighty. Oh, uh, we did so much last time. Oh, my nose is a little runny today, too, apparently. Okay, I think we only have one quest. Yes. And this is where Lodgok said that the helmet plan did not go according to his plan. So, let's see, where do we need to find him? Oh, that's right, Amit can speak gobbledygook. He's the one that gave us uh, the telescope, right? For astronomy class. Had to think about which way I had to go. Excuse me, pardon me, cover it through. Excuse you, you just pushed me out of the way. We'll get there eventually. Peeves. Amit, uh, I need your help. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serena's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serena trusts him, then I feel much better. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no! I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. Interesting. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. <laughs> Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. No, then. Rebellion. Astronomy telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. Okay. Oh, that's a thousand feet away. 
Can we fly? Uh, we're, we're inside so we can't fly away. You know how cool it would be to just fly off of the astronomy tower? <sighs> oh, I never saw this before. Lumos. So is it back upstairs? Because I've saw a telescope. Excuse me, I'm eat. But it was like a normal telescope. It wasn't like a big one. Oh, there it is. Come on. My little friend. There you go, little moth. Alrighty. Revelio. Just making sure nothing suspicious was lying about. Hello, Amit. I've already passed you. He's probably like, man, this girl's got ADHD. She done got up the stairs, left to the stairs, right at the stairs. <clears throat> Rebellion. Have I never opened this before? I swear I could have. Maybe they just lock after a certain time. Oh my god, it's a kitty cat. Pet the kitty cat. Oh, so precious. You know, I've never seen another, like, character, like, holding the cat or anything. Revelio. A little more. Unidentified back item. Dear Professor Shaw, thank you for your recent submission regarding celestial anomalies. It may be a perfect addition to an atlas I am hoping to publish. I shall be in touch if I decide to include your submission or any of its related research in the publication. Best wishes, MPN Carnerius. This is like the only professor's room that's like not like um like in the professor's dormitory or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> I believe it. I believe that the cats are written rock spies. They're so cute, though. If they're spies, I can't. I can't be mad at them. Now we can fly away. Y'all did not see that broken.
still of the snow that's getting like on top of my head because I'm flying. The Maryland Trail over there. <clears throat> Oh, Merlin trial. How lovely. Hello, Lovecock. A speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ramrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, uh, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. <laughs> I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, sir, Lord Gok. Just Lord Gok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. Interesting. <coughs> what 
else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Okay, but first there's balloons. Ah! I can't fly. But the balloons! Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, there's like two Merlin trials over here. Let me go get this blue flame real quick. Is there just no one out here keeping guard? Lovely to see you both. I hope you can't see me. We've got some issues, if you can. Oh my gosh, I'm neat. Why you do this? Okay, what if I run really, really fast? Depulsor. <laughs> I hate that so much. Look, some of us get sidetracked on side quests. is looking at us. I guess this is kind of where you would have learned how to open the chest with the eyes. But, you know. Books rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mind. It's even grander than I had expected. Nintendo. Oh, wrong one. Sneaking about, you'll see. Revelio. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I'm assuming it's gonna open this way. Oh wow, it didn't. I was wrong. I 
still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Be careful, as I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgok, to say the least. Okay, we'll come back this way after we go figure out what the other thing was. <coughs> That gave us no information. How rude. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Aki. Amid, really? On the platform. Thank you. Pavilion. Ah, but if you don't fill up so much, you can actually go further. It's true. Eat a big meal. It's fight. That was an accident. <laughs> Through his safety, I need. You have my word. But once again, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. We're being watched by a door. Hmm. We won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. I hope it can't see us. But my question is, how did the goblins get by? I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Curious. I'm gonna go back and see if I can move that gate. Cause that's a big chest. Maybe something important in there. Okay. I 
I'm thinking like maybe Livio so or something to lift it up. Oh wait. It might ah, there we go. Maybe I have to do this. No, it's a marking. to be seen doing. Pavelia. Oh, maybe because this isn't what that would make sense. Yeah, there we go. If that's not loud, I don't know what loud is. <laughs> Take this as well as this and this and this. Wait a moment. Oh my goodness. It was on heat this time. I did not mean to do that. Clever. Okay, let's see. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Pavelia. It sounded like he said empty-headed. <laughs> <coughs> 
Oh, interesting. So it leads you back down here. Plans, hopefully. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more nodes around here. Valia. What could they be building? A giant prison. Much worse. I'm not another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Bombarda! Confringo! I don't know why the controls can be funky sometimes. Now I can look like a smith! Oh cool. That table looked like it was covered in candles though. I I'm pretty sure that's like a fire a fire hazard. But I don't know. I mean like wax I guess itself isn't really flammable as far as I know. Like you can't just like light wax on fire, it just melts. Rebellion. Devil snare. Nasty yes. stuff if we're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. Pavelia. Famous. 
Why well, doesn't they just like get the moonstone? The moonstone is magical. We'll wait here till he tries to. Yeah, there we go. Right into it too. Oh, thank you. I think I handled that one a little bit more well. I wish there was kind of a way that you could go, like, play this game without, um... Without having to kill anybody, for that matter. Just in case. Maybe we'll get to see what they're building before we figure it out. A 
Okay, I thought I saw a chest over there. But it was just my imagination. Just teleported, I saw that. Don't know why they magically came back to life, but it is what it is. I wonder if we ever have to teach students spells, like uh, how Sebastian's been teaching us stuff. Poor sorcerer. Uh -huh. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Yeah. Could Let's get out of here and tell our book what we found. But the drill looks like it's like a reverse drill. There must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. There is. I just didn't want to go that way. But it's okay. We'll, we'll go this way. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I'm so sorry. I didn't know we were gonna have this many battles. I thought this was actually gonna be like kind of battleless, since they were like, "Oh, don't get spotted." Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. I'm so sorry I put us in grave danger. Alrighty. Now we can escape. Oh wait. No, it was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Wait, what? I'm confused. How did we get in here? I don't know. I could have swore we used the lift, but we were just on the lift, were we not? Yeah, because this is heading further into the mine. So we use the lift again? I guess so. Almost fell off. Tee hee, that would have been fun. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm dumb. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. It 
instructions were unclear. Nope. And I bet we're gonna come out and it's, we're not gonna be invisible anymore. Can we please talk about what- That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. <laughs> without further ado, at you. <laughs> He has a way with words. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. And I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Okay.
Okay, that was a lot to take in. Welcome, capital of T. I know it's supposed to be capital of Texas, but I'm just gonna tease you. I hope Professor. <gasps> My next room upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Sim Witches as soon as you can. That was a lot. Like, I was in tears from how moving that scene was. Also, I could have swore there were balloons over Thank here. You. Did we did we remove the balloons? No balloons for Mystic. Uh not too much. We kinda just did side quests the past day or so. Ah, there there it is. Oh, there's another one over there too. Uh, a Merlin trial. No, it's not a Merlin trial. It just looks like a Merlin trial. Okay, so I think this is, yeah. So there's one there. Where's the other one? Okay, there's one. So where's the shortest one? Okay. So let's use Bombarda to get rid of all of this stuff. Bombarda. There we go. Okay. Confringo. Magic. Oh, the dialogue that I said was long? Um... We found out what happened to, or potentially found out what happened to Professor Fig's wife, who has been missing. Apparently she was really kind to the goblin named Lodgok. And when Lodgok told our villain of the story, Ranrock, that uh, he spent time with her, Ranrock may have murdered her. What an evil, evil goblin. Out murdering people for no reason. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. So I believe we're now on the portion of the map that we haven't been before. Between. Okay. We're headed that way at least. Alrighty, let's go find these fireflies that are blue. I guess they're not, they're not even fireflies. They look more like glowing moths. Yeah. They look more like moths. Oh my gosh, I, I literally cannot. <laughs> I cannot cast the right spell today. But speaking of blue flyer, fireflies, I can't speak today either. Um... What do you guys think about blue fireflies? Like, the normal ones are kind of like an orangey yellow light. Rebellion. I hope there's a fireflies in here or Rebellion. moth. Just a chest. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of blue firefly that exists, right? Yeah, it, it would be easy to murder him if I could, but um... I don't know. I don't know why we don't just go that route of just murdering the bad guy. I guess it's more important for him to uh, 
be detained, I guess. Are there, why is there a frog over here? Oh, there's some. Hello, my little moths. You must be a return to your little rock. See, like that—that—that's that, like a normal firefly, that color. Ta -da! That's that. Settled. And now we run away. Okay. I saw a page somewhere nearby. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Natty, no. I know how and where to approach the sentinels about protecting the city. Meet me in the forbidden forest. Abandoned Bathi. This broken down old Bathi used to shelter traveling witches and wizards from the elements. Over time, however, the surrounding bog became, began to reclaim the Bathi. These days, it only plays host to the odd do bog or two. Oh, I love the mazes. They're fun. See, my theory is if you just stick to the left and keep going, you'll get there someday. It's worked for me so far. The teenage Artemisia played a pivotal role in Ewan's growth as a wizard, but also his descent into darkness, each stoking the other's disdain for their muggle parents. And as Ewan changed, so did the results of his work. His hedges he nurtured grew vicious and volatile. The wedding of Ewan and Artemisia was a curious affair, for Artemisia's muggle father was Ewan's muggle family, and Ewan's muggle family were all in invited. It is believed that Ewan's family would have avoided the affair altogether if not for rumors of Artem Artemisia's considerable dowry, which, unbeknownst to them, was not a pile of gold, but a single golden medallion. Bewitched with the Gemino Gym curse, enticed by their greed, the Muggles agreed to attend. Revenia. Mm. Oh, so the chest is right there. did not know you could use Revelio for the mazes, but that's pretty cool. More Merlin trials. It looks like there's a side quest way over there. I know, I know, I'm turning around. Let us bring forth high wing. What? I can't dismount here, why not? Well, where 
am I supposed Sentry to Sentry. dismount? Thank you. Because High Wing's gonna be able to fly faster, so. Away, High Wing! Away! Faster, High Wing! And on top of that, we need to figure out what quest we're gonna do next. Okay. Let's go meet Poppy. I'm curious about the dragon. I think High Wing's already going. God. The scenery is almost like too realistic, you know? Like I imagine this is what it looks like if you were in a plane. And Hogwarts looks so majestical and everything. It's so majestical. I, I'm pretty sure High Wing is going fast as High Wing can go. Y you don't have to screech at him, I promise. Do this. I can do this. 